All right, another beautiful day on the lake. Uh, a little bit different than yesterday. Straight south wind, uh, front moving in tomorrow morning, or I'm sorry, Sunday morning. Uh, supposed to blow 25 to 35, 40 mile an hour gusts and one to three inches of sleet and snow. So we are out here today. Um, actually, I did this yesterday with just something different, but today testing out this new uh, Mega Bass Okashira screw head. I've really actually been wanting to try this for a while and they've been sold out forever and then finally got my hands on some. So already caught a couple. So just gonna kind of show you how it works. It's like it's like the old school version of the Northland Whistler jig. You know, it's got the blade right there, super sticky sharp mega bass hook, really nice swim bait head, and just a little three inch paddle tail swim bait. Um, pretty money, just throwing it on light spinning tackle for big white bass. So, just gonna give it a whirl here and just kind of show you something, maybe, I don't know. I'm not really throwing into this tree just yet. I'm not ready to lose a bait. <laughs> so I'm just kind of focusing on just fan casting around the bank and picking off fish wherever they may be roaming up and down. There he is. God, this is so much fun. I don't care if they're big, small. They just freaking crush this bait. I mean, whatever, they're white bass. They'd probably crush anything. It's not really giving me an advantage, but on this cloudy, uh, super windy day, I think that that little blade draws them in. So that's how it works. We should probably do that 30 more times just for recreational purposes. Yep. White bass. Water is getting cold. Those fish are looking pale. Pretty cold. But like I said, it's super finessey. This is the eighth ounce size. I mean, I'd be super into it uh, for like a half ounce size for wipers. Um, but for this finessey stuff, just throwing on light spinning gear, this is pretty much the ticket. I don't really think color matters. Today I'm using just a white paddle tail because it's cloudy. Just so they can come find it. 10 pound braid, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, 610 medium light rod. Money. Dude, they're just like, they're right there in front of the boat. Like I could literally just make a pitch right there and just let it sink and probably get crushed again. Yep, that's where they're at. There must be a bigger tree down there that they're just sitting right on top of because I don't even need to throw all the way to the bank, theoretically. Just kind of wasting half a cast. Oh my God. Okay, this is my first time boat flipping also. Dirty shad eater, I think I've already caught him before. Chunky. Oh my God, how did they miss it like that? Unreal. Not gonna miss him this time. Maybe, probably. They're definitely still here, I just can't. Uh, this is my first time fishing. There we go. This thing is speed up the retrieve a little bit, I guess. Ooh. Yes. Come here, sir. Footballs. Yep. That's the ticket. Oh, that one knocks slack in it. 
Jeez, and he's not even that big. Dink. But that's why he knocks slack in it, because it's all the way down his freaking throat. Yeah. Okay, so the bait works. Just in case you guys were wondering yet, if the bait worked, it, uh, it works. So. Ah. Took my tail. I guess I should probably show you how to rig it. Uh, I mean, there's really not much to it. It's just like any other jig head. Uh, this one's got number one, the wire keeper threaded on to the shank right there. And then it's also got this rubber stop and that rubber stop, you just push right up against that cup by the blade so that it can properly spin and you don't have to worry about your swim bait stopping it. But obviously like with any swim bait, just take it, thread it on with the tail down, straight down the middle until it pops out, push it up, make sure it's nice and straight. And always just make sure that that blade's got free rein to spin, but man, that is just a sexy little morsel, finessey morsel for a big white bass. So that's my goal. Oh yeah, that's a big one. First cast, back in there. They all feel big, whatever, it's probably a ding. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. This one is not starving. Yeah, that's just the deal right there. Nice, big, fat, healthy white, golly. Good times. Who's this? First drop. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a freaking tank. Oh God. Oh. He's awake now. First drop, just mark, I mean, there's so much wood in this area, but that looked like fish and sure enough. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that jigging drop's gone too. Well, this was a good idea. Long dong. It is not the Okashira screw head, uh, but that's still. All Brian does is fish jigging wraps. Right? Boop. Yep, that'll do. Probably the only one that's there too. That's what happened yesterday. All right, well, that was totally worth it. Maybe there's another one down there. God, that's a nice fish. Just freaking healthy. Woo. Dandy. Later, bud. Let's do it again. Well, this is just like so much fun. Can't stop. Dirty shad eaters. Dirty screw head eaters. Chunky. Oh, dude, again, just, I let it fall, and he just hammered it on the fall. Little guy.
Uh -huh. Woo! Okay, almost took a screw head to the face on that one. First cast. First cast. Just nifty. Would you just look at it? Oh, it's a dink. It is not big. Oh, God. Okay. All right, so we have kind of uh, deducted here over the last hour that the Okashira screw head is good for white bass. Super fun bait to fish, super easy, nice and finessey. White bass are not really a good example of what the bait is, can really do, because, uh, I mean, if it's in front of their face, they're probably just going to eat anything anyhow. But uh, just wanted to do a quick review on it, especially since I was on a really good bite with these guys. So go pick some up, uh, try them for smallmouth, largemouth, white bass, crappie, tilapia, <laughs> whatever. Anywho, that's about it for me today. So, hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving break. And I'll catch you on the next vidya.